Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with a pirate game. Hell yeah. Wanted to play one of these for a long time and just... Where... Where is everybody? Where's the, uh... The adventure? My ship? But... Who can I bring on to it? Just be me? Alone? What am I even supposed to be doing? Is it, there's this weird guy here, and them here, and them over. Is, is that it? I just sail on the seas, and that's it? Fuck that, that'd be stupid. Alright, I'm gonna load up an actually fun pirate game. Hey, there we go, a game that's actually good for loners like myself. Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with the first episode of Sid Meier's Pirates, a pirates game that's actually good for me. <laughs> uh, well, no, I'm not trying to rag on Sea of Thieves as being a bad game. It's not. It's good when you have friends. I don't have friends. <laughs> so there's the majority of the problem. Uh, so... I was hoping to maybe do that with a couple buddies, maybe, uh, on International Talk Like a Pirate Day, so I could be drunk and yelling, you know, pirate shit. But that's that's the only the only thing. Uh, for now, though, I figured, you know what? I kind of want to get into one of my other passions, which is pirates. Um, <laughs> you know, considering I've mainly been doing nothing but zombies lately, so. Yeah, let's get into this. Get into Sid Meier's Pirates. It's a game I have played before. I played it as a kid uh, on a PSP, which was one of the few things I had gaming-wise at the time. Poor family. So, um, that allowed me at least a taste of it, but the Xbox port is apparently far more immersive. It's immersive, air quote, as the game can get. Um, there's actual, uh, functionality that I didn't get to see in the PSP version that is here, and I'm really excited to show some of you guys, because, well, I mean, it's pirates! Gotta love pirates. Anyway, um, scoot a little closer to the microphone, the chair's gonna squeak, but that's fine, and we are getting into it. It began with a celebration. Indebted for years to the Marquis de la Montbau. The family's prosperity was soon to be restored. Their fleet was due to arrive on the morrow, carrying both their hopes and their salvation. But the celebration was befouled by an unwanted guest and unwelcome. Marquis himself arrived bearing ill tidings. The fleet had been lost. And the dead had come due. The family's property was seized. They were pressed into bondage. Oh, great. Of course, slavery is always a part of this. One of them will not be a slave. Will and Wood. Archer. And so it was that the brave young Scion escaped his family's fate. Swearing to save them and one day avenge the Marquis's foul deed. Ten years later, now grown to his full measure, thus being adult, the young adventurer began his quest to find his family and restore their fortune. It is an old game. It's 2005. Seeking passage to the new world? If you be looking for passage to the Americas, you can sign up here. Alrighty. And it's already set up with my name because I played this game before. Uh, give me a second to check the thing. Alright. Got it. Semi crisis at work. Okay, uh, I was making sure I was getting messages that were pertaining to it. 
Uh, we're going to do the adventurer, because any further is a little difficult for me to also, you know, talk while LPing. Uh, I try to maintain an ability to uh, banter on top of playing the game. So, uh, adventurer should be good. Uh, skill at... Well, I mean, that's the thing. You'd think skill at fencing, skill at gunnery, skill at navigation, wit and charm would be very useful, uh, but they, they're they only good in certain situations, um, and only that situation. Um, quite frankly, when it comes to them, uh, they're good, but they're not good enough for me to devote my time to. Um, what I prefer, personally, is skill at medicine. Medicine? I can talk, really, I can. Skill at medicine allows you to improve your health and extend your career as a pirate. That is an immediate benefit from day one, because, and I'll explain this, obviously, that there is items that will extend your health uh, and career as a pirate uh, that you can pick up during the game. However, they are pretty much completely RNG based, and sometimes you can go your whole career without finding one and not having enough money to get it in the first place. So, it's better off getting medicine in the early game, so that way you have a longer career ahead of you to get all of the things completed. That's the pretty much only way you're going to be able to get through it without any problems. Uh, skill at fencing, gunnery, navigation, and wit and charm, they're good, but they're not good enough to offset the risks of you might not be able to complete the game in the proper, you know, amount of time you have, which is your health. Your health is a constant problem that needs to be addressed because eventually you will be forcibly retired and then you won't be able to complete anything that you needed to get completed. Now, I'm not saying that it's a difficult game. I'm saying that that is a factor you need to take into account, and skill at medicine makes that barely a factor. So, I, do, I go that route. <laughs> and the start date. Uh, the Buccaneer Heroes is, you know, it's near the heyday of being a pirate, and it's also near the end of being a pirate. I prefer the war for profit, rather. I was pulling at my mustache a little bit, and that's my mouth fucked up. Um, I prefer the war for profit uh, era, because it allows you to at least get into that and have that buffer before this happens, and then you start having more and more difficulties as time goes on. So, for that one, we go to done. And here, we need to sign on, sign on as part of a crew. Captains at yonder tables will gladly take ye aboard. I swear I can talk. Really, I can. Uh, select a nation. At this point, we are on the English, the Dutch, the Spanish, and the French. My last name is Dutch, so I prefer to go with the Dutch. Um... But it is one of the more challenging ones to play. That much I'm aware of. English is one of the easiest nationalities to play. You start the game with friendly ports and highly useful locations, and since England is almost always at war for with France, or rather Spain, well, France too, uh, more than one, <laughs> really, uh, you can usually gain quick English promotions by attacking Spanish vessels and cities. Yeah, it's true. And the French, France has a number of strategic ports. Tortuga is a great place from which to harass southern Cuba, and she's often at war with Spain. It's true. Being Span, Spanish is uh, one of the most challenging nationalities to start with because Spain is kind of the one who gets beat up all the time. Primarily because they are so rich and their military is so lax that they just are an easy target. Spain has by far the most ports in the game, which leaves you fewer targets to attack. And then the 
Dutch is not the easiest to play. The Dutch have far fewer ports than the other nations, and the Dutch are not quite as often at war with their neighbors, so Dutch promotions can be hard to come by. So that's a majority of the problem. But I've often still found great success going with the Dutch. So I'm going to do it. Welcome aboard, Mr. Stray Cat. We sail with the tide. Cutscene. Brought with terror and cruelty. The captain drove the ship and her, her crew to breaking. Uh. <clears throat> no, you do not grab that necklace, you asshole. <clears throat> oh! Oh! Pushed beyond all decency, the crew leaped me. That's a good idea on the ship. And he's beaten. We take command of the ship. Free and under full sail, the ship and its crew are at your command. Make your way to the Caribbean. A fortune to be had. A family to rescue. Revenge to be served. Your destiny awaits you. And this is the family that was taken from you. Heading to the first Dutch port to visit the tavern and recruit some people. Yeah, serious stranger, evil villain Marquis 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 de la Montemont, who wronged your family, has built a mighty fortress deep in the jungle. You must complete 15 quests to reveal the location. Marry the daughter of a governor. Oh boy, you're already making it difficult for me, aren't you, game? All right. Sure well. When in the lab. Okay. Whoa. Bart Roberts sails out of the pirate haven La Creek near the city of Santo Domingo. He is known to carry over 1,400 gold blooms. All right. Martin Grumman. Ron's cannon. Well, True, we, darn it. That would be nice. Can we get here? Oh. Give me a second, folks. Alrighty. Whoops. <laughs> Had to uh, take a phone call to get some crew shortages covered. It's all good now, though, so. Can't really do anything with the ship right. Let's talk to the governor. What did My dear talk? Mr. Stray Cat, please come in. You may be interested to know that we are at war with the evil Spanish. We have a peace treaty with the French. So, no attacking the French if I want a promotion. Gotcha. I'm pleased to offer a letter of mark which authorizes you to plunder and sink the ships of our enemies. Which is mainly the Spanish. As this map will show, the nearest city is the Spanish city of San Juan, which lies a short distance to the west. Yeah, it's not that far off, actually. I'm about to send the brig Holstein to blockade San Juan. That's, that's a thing. Perhaps you would like to tag along and pluck a few Spanish prizes. Till next time. Alrighty. Give me just a second. I need to pop my back. Walking around. Ooh. Ooh. Walking around. Messed it up a little bit. Had to pop it. Okay. Now we are good. Let's sail away. There's a Dutch Raider. Blockade San Juan. Yeah, I have to check. What ship do I have? It seems a little bigger than most. Um, a brigantine! Hmm. 
Alright, we kinda lucked out this time. Usually it's a swoop. This time we lucked out, it's a brigantine. Not too bad. Well, not great, but it's not too bad. Yep, just have to harass Spain a little. That's what we're doing. So much for this actually. Yeah, yeah there's no way. Yeah, this didn't pan out at all. Alright. Santa Domingo. Hey, wait, I think I recognize that. That is a trade galleon. Let's go after it. Well, that's a reach. Yeah, no, that was gonna happen. Sales. There we are. Whoopsie, whoopsie. All right. Starting to get some damage on it now. Turn. All right, there we go. Oh, oh geez, got some damage on us. All right, get down, crashing to the side of the ship. Take him on in sword fight. All right, rapier is a great quick attack weapon, so might as well. Ha! Gotcha. Okay, oh, ooh, so much for that. Gotcha. Into the sea he goes. Ha <laughs> ha! The ship is ours, man. <laughs> Sailors volunteer to join the crew. Grunt. Grunt. Don't, don't pay attention to my fuck-ups, okay? <laughs> Alrighty. Here we are. Got a trade galleon. Keeper. There we go. Now we have a significant amount of food. Art Roberts. Oh boy. Oh boy. He is far better equipped. Oh. Oh. Okay. Should've known better than this. Oh jeez. Narrowly avoided it. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. There we go. Okay, I just gotta make sure I get all my attacks in as quickly as I can. Eventually, the amount of. Uh, the amount of people I have on my crew will dwindle away. Ow! Okay. Well, I'm screwed. That screwed me up. Yep. Jesus. Yep. I'm gone. <laughs> yep. And they sail away with my ship. And now I'm down to a sloop. <laughs> oh fuck it! I got cocky. I got cocky, and I got fucked up. That was that's my fault. That is entirely my fault. <sighs> you know what? This, this has already been a hell of a day. I'm just going to end this for right now. I'm just going to end this right now. And, uh, 
we'll try it again later. You know, we'll just try it again later, because uh, I've had a hell of a day. I've had a hell of a week. I've had a hell of a month. I just want to relax a little. Just want to relax a little. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to end this for now. So, we'll pick it up again later. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube for subscribing to my Patreon and supporting the channel. I very much appreciate it. It's been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and dealing with <laughs> being a pirate is a lot harder than I remember it being. Uh... I don't remember the named pirates being that strong, but then again, I uh, remember putting it on a easier difficulty last time I played, so maybe that's why. So I got a little cocky, a little, a little big for my britches, and I got wrecked for it, so that's my fault for you.